Okay, hi YouTube, Mr. User Boss here, and this is a $25 haul video from GearBest.com. So let's see the actual stuff you can get with $25. So GearBest is kind of like a gadget website which has all sorts of pretty strange things, and I've heard good things, so yeah, we'll see. So the first one is LED shoelaces. Now, as you can see, this is kind of a novelty item, but being only priced at about $2, I thought it was a pretty cool thing to get, uh, especially for sort of university students or People just to go to a lot of parties, I think that this is pretty nice. And wow, that does actually work pretty well. So the LEDs are built into the two nodes on the side, and the actual cable is made out of a special type of bendable glass, and so it actually reflects the light through it like a piece of perspex. Cool. So next up, we're going to take a look at the... Let's have a look at the gaming mouse. So this came in at about $7, and yeah, it looks like a very awesome high-tech future kind of mouse and I think a lot of gaming mouses kind of adopt this same sort of design aesthetic and it just works. So it does actually have built-in lights, it has a macro feature so you can actually control your um, the actual actions of different buttons so there's actually a programmable software and on top of that it actually has high DPI which means that you can actually uh, control very fine movements with actually you know a lot of accuracy and it can also mean that you can zip around the whole screen by not moving the mouse a lot and you can adjust those on the fly with a button on the top of the mouse so this is a pretty nice feature it's actually seen on a lot of higher end gaming mouses but for seven dollars i've never seen anything that does it so as you can see it's got this kind of nice gold metallic finish the actual whole thing feels pretty light which is not very surprising at all i mean this is not exactly the highest grade metal or anything like that. I mean, I'm not expecting sort of RAT5 or RAT7 kind of build quality because clearly those are appealing to higher end audiences. But nonetheless, this actually pulls off the design very, very well. It does actually feel surprisingly nice in the hand. I mean, the matte finish is seriously appreciated. There's nothing I dislike more than a really glossy fingerprint attractive magnet. So yeah, we'll take a closer look at all these things later, but for now we're just looking at an overview. So the third thing I got was Luminous Headphones. So these are actually design patent pending, which is a pretty cool thing. And all it is really is a glow-in-the-dark cable. So I mean, how good these actually are, I have no idea. But I mean, the picture kind of suggests like they are pretty good. I mean, if they light up anywhere near as much as the picture shows, then I just think it's a really cool thing. But you know, I mean, they only cost $6, so I kind of have no idea how they're going to sound. You can see that their design inspiration was clearly taken from the Xiaomi Pistons and they are almost exact replicas of them, but I doubt they'll sound anywhere near as good as that. But then again, for this price, I mean, you know, it's fair enough to pay $6 for a novelty piece of kit. Even if they don't sound very good at all, having a luminous pair of earphones is cool in itself. So yeah, I mean, the build quality is actually quite nice. It is still metal, which is quite surprising, and it has the same open chamber that we've come to know and love. So the last item I got is a novelty mug. So this is made out of China and it actually has a special thermoplastic on top which basically changes colour depending on how hot the contents of the mug are. So as you can see it currently says off. So this is actually claimed to change when you put a hot drink inside. So again we will test this later but for now it looks pretty nice. I mean it's built pretty well. It's come with a few smudges on it, but I think I could probably clear those off with a good wash. Right, so let's have a quick trial of these shoelaces. So it's actually kind of tricky to tie the laces with this material. It doesn't seem to want to stay very easily, and I know I've done a really bad job with this, but you kind of get the idea. So it looks a little bit messy, and I think the way you do it is you actually don't try and tie it. You sort of you bring the two, two ends of the cable round the back of your legs and then connect it to the connector, the actual node which sends the light through them. And basically you'll see that when you actually connect this node, it all fits together very nicely. I mean, it can still fall out, but as long as you shove it in really far, then it actually seals it up pretty well. But I'm still not sure how you're going to tighten your, your shoelaces in this state. Having said that though, the LED effect is really prominent. It's surprisingly strong. Even in broad daylight, it actually works really well. And at night, you will definitely get noticed. Now being only $2, this is really cool. 
Now after having tested the mouse, I have to say I really like it. I mean the clicks are responsive, they've got good travel, the lights are really bright. I mean again, even in a highly lit room you can still see, and they're constantly changing. It's kind of like one of those stargazing things where you just sort of, you're looking at a constantly moving scene, and it actually works really nicely. I mean the keys are programmable, and you can download the software on Mac or PC, which was quite surprising for me as it's normally just Windows. So yeah, as you can see, the lights are starting to change. There's a nice purple hue going on there, and it changes to red, green, and orange as well, which is awesome. I absolutely love this mouse. I think that I've paid twice as much for ones which I haven't liked as much as this one. So the earphones are things which I'm not particularly impressed with. I found that the actual sound quality was really not good, and you even for $6, you can get stuff which sounds quite a bit better than these. So clearly you're paying a little bit extra for this cable, but I have to say it really doesn't work how it was sort of advertised to. So firstly, I mean, it's very, very dim. I mean, like, it just doesn't work very well at all. And secondly, you have to charge it under a really bright light for quite a long time before you can see any effects. Now as you can see, as soon as you turn the lights off, it really is barely visible. Okay, so the last thing is the mug. So as you can see, it says off, and all I'm going to do is just pour some boiling water in it. And almost straight away we start to see effects, so that is pretty cool. Okay, so what's actually happening here is the chemical is reacting and it's changing colour. It's changing from black to white and it's actually revealing the thing which says on. However, as you can see, it doesn't actually hide the initial thing that says off, which is, I guess, a little bit disappointing, but this is also a pretty cheap item. So yeah, it just says on, off, on, which I guess equals on. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, so that's my haul from GearBest.com. The links are all in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more.